we're off. How many games have we seen start with a Z? Most of them, I yeah. say. What's great about the, the carts they're both using is they the pieces all come similar, so... Jonas they, Tetris ready and knocks boom. down the first Tetris of his round one game match. And there goes David. Boom, Tetris Ooh, for David. Double, double Tetris. Double Tetris. Feels good, man. It does. I mean... I'm not sure where the score difference is, actually. I don't know if we have a score difference. But it is very neck and neck right it now. It was. Jonas pulls ahead by one Tetris. David forced into a bit of a center wall situation. We'll see if he builds it up. Now he wants to transfer his wall back to the right side. Score is broken too. Yeah, solid play from David. They are hyped on the main stage, you guys. It's a seven-digit score, so they can go beyond a million points. So the score is not broken, it just looks unfamiliar. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that true? No, I we have too many that. digits. Hmm. You guys are right. But the main point right. is still there. Jonas up by 30,000 points. Knocks down another Tetris. We all know Jonas's last digit is zero because he does not press down. And it looks like David's employing the same strategy. So just add a zero to the end. <laughs> oh, are we? Yeah, we're missing a digit. Jonas, oh, uh, about 50,000 points up now. Comfortable lead. Seems very comfortable knocking down Tetris's. David, Beautiful. playing very well himself with a yeah, sloping left slope. to right stack. Tetris ready. Nice little skim to keep his well open. Jonas doing a little digging over there. Boom, Tetris for David. Boom. He's really taken Jonas's um, advice. Look at him, just smooth, calm. He's blocked as well. If he can get a blue L or the long bar, Ooh, he but can he open it up. keeps stacking on top of it. He's got alternating burn shells where his holes are in different spots on alternating levels. It's a tough cleanup. He might be able to, oh, has to put more weight on it again. Jonas switching to a center well. Both players struggling with that piece Jonas of Jonas Tetris ready and he nails it. Boom Tetris for Jonas. Uh, about 60,000 points now. And David's still digging. He's on his way. If he can just get the right piece. Oh, that square came at the wrong time for David. Ooh, definitely. Jonas maintaining a 60,000 point lead. And another Tetris for Jonas. Well, David continues to dig. Digging about... or burying, I'm not sure. <laughs> but he's, oh, there we go. He's digging. Just has to keep putting weight on his holes with the pieces he's getting. And another Tetris for Jonas. Now at 243,000 points at 74 lines. It's a very good pace. For competition, that is. David's still digging. Oh, and he slides that blue L over just one too far. Continues the dig. Jonas playing calm Tetris. It's good to see at this early point of the day. Almost overshifts that L, of course. Both players, oh, what a drought. Yeah, coming into a serious drought. And David tops David out, tops Jonas out. takes game one. Ooh. Game one for Jonas. That was indeed a tough set. GG's to both players. Right, look at Jonas with some great um, Tetris ratio. Getting close to 50% there. After this match, guys, we will try to get someone to help us fix the score display. But just add a zero to the end. Stat. David has chosen to start on level 15. Second, the, the lower seed gets to choose the starting level for the second game. And 
Children is just ready. Even on 15, well, not crest out. Oh, and starting David, off ready. with a drought. Not what you want to do in this game. Not David, that you have a choice. Look about Tetris. Oh, Double. quite a nice situation for David. Look at it. Takes the lead. Jonas now Tetris ready. There it comes. And there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you go. Once you got it, you've got it. You it's got in it. There. That's it's your Tetris now. You just cash in. <laughs> <laughs> so David with the lead right now. Handled the initial piece sequence more efficiently than Jonas did. Jonas firing back. Jonas doing a Jonas tuck. <laughs> And boom, Tetris for David. David with almost double Jonas's score, but here Ooh, comes Jonas, Jonas with the Tetris. Coming back. I will tell you that Jonas never plays level 15. Both Tetris ready. David gets one. Jonas with a nice adjustment to accommodate that L piece. And boom, touches for Jonas. Good skim from David and Tetris. Steve, you guys have a winner. I think we got to stay connected. So just stand up and be like, winner, just yell winner, and then we'll look over at And boom, Tetris for Jonas. It's the last digit of the score we're yeah. missing. It's like cut off. So it should say 126,000. Right. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, we're here. trying to fix the score, guys. Jonas within 20,000 points okay. now. Okay, I'll get him on that. Okay, but for sure, um, we'll let you know when it goes in. Uh, but you guys are talking to people and letting them know what the real score is, right? Yeah. Okay. Jonas now Tetris ready. David just waiting on an L or a long bar to get a stack there, but of course the trout. Skim, skim, Jonas within 22,000 points. David, I think, has had the lead this entire game so far, which is what this entire game means. Right. This <laughs> <laughs> it's early. <You> know, hey. <laughs> Round one. So what's everybody eating for breakfast? <laughs> um, yeah. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. Thanks, Willie Rance. There it is. There you it called is. it. And Jonas has taken the lead. They're at 61 lines, so they have a ways to go still on 15. Jonas nice and clean, knocks down a Tetris. David getting set up himself. Nice square. And boom, touches for David. Closes the gap a little bit. David's touches ready. The bow touches for And boom, touches for David. Beautiful. And I believe the score is now accurate. Oh, what about the score differential? We're getting it, guys. Look at this close match. David has retaken the lead by 4,000 points. And now up by 24,000 points. Jonas comes back. Jonas Ditch is ready. Thank you, Trey. Genius. Fixing the stream for us. Yep, yeah, about Tetris for Jonas. Here we go. David's Tetris ready. Thirsty for that long bar. Boom. 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 There it is for Jonas. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> the DeLuca boom has a few extra O's in it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Kind of rolls off from the boo. <laughs> nice. Tetris for Jonas regains the lead, but David is just oh, blocks as well. 
be fine if he gets anything helpful. Famous last words in Tetris. He'll right. be fine if he gets the right piece. Opens as well again. He's fine. There's that long bar. And boom, Tetris for David. Beautiful. With the transition to level 16. Level 16 and 17 and 18 are the same drop speed. I consider that transition when I play, because I start at 15. Mm, so you are used to this shift. This is a nice color scheme. I don't get to see this very often, because yeah. Jonas plays on 18. It's like the heavy metal level. Still a very close match. Back and forth lead changes. Their Tetris ratio is, is really close, too. David's um, really bringing it up this game. That's right. These are new statistics uh, in action this year. I mean, your viewers are all really familiar with the Tetris. Well, but these are new for the tournament. This is uh, this is that, that little display there will show you a lot of information depending on the state of the game. But you can so, see when they drop a Tetris, they're underneath the level marker. They have, like, look on David's, it'll show his he's percentage. He's at 60%, Jonas, a little more efficient at 62%. Mm -hmm. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. David's doing a little digging. Jonas takes the lead by 9,000. David transitions. transitions. 19. Missed uh, drop right at the beginning. Tough level. He's digging. You want Joey? I think. I think. My bracket's done. <laughs> All right, Jonas with a 14,000 point lead. Takes a double, increases to 17,000. David has a bit of an alternating burn stack situation. He's trying to clean it up. Jonas takes a triple, gets up to a 19,000 point lead. David skimming, trying to get his stack down to somewhere he can do something with it. I just got news of uh, one of the, the main um, matches, and um, Joey Parker took That's out Chris Brady. Excellent work, Joey. The West Coast or the the uh, East Coast qualifier. Ooh, Jonas missed for the miss drop twice. Still up by 16,000 points. They're on level 22. David transitions to level 23. Has taken a stack down. Is not Tetris ready. Jones gets that long bar. One piece before Jonas he wants Tetris it. Tetris ready. Boom. Boom. Tetris for Jonas. Increases his lead to 37,000 points. David with a clean board. He's building up. He's ready to throw back. Oh, oh blocks as well, right when he gets the long bar. All right, let's touch us ready. Jonas now up by 46,000 points as they hit level 24. This is not an easy first round match. No. If we had a kill screen in round one, this is <laughs> yeah, it's pretty really amazing. Deal. Bit of a drought there. Gets the players a little wrong footed. David able to get that long bar over. <gasps> but hangs up the L. Can he get the Oh, oh. we cannot get it David over. David tops out. Oh, Jonas wow. up by 56,000 points. What a Jonas game. wins round Jonas one. Jonas is the winner. <laughs> Jonas will be going on next to take on Joey Parker. Harry's picking level 18. I think no one is surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Unless maybe you're new here. It's okay to be surprised. It's okay. No judges. Harry's working on his grip. And they start off with not a Z piece. But it came right afterwards. Yes. Oh, <laughs> God. Yep. So Harry able to capitalize on that first long bar. Yeah, definitely. Trey's Tetris ready, and here it comes. Boom, Tetris for Trey. I always like to look at the player's hand grips. Mm. Everybody kind of has like a different way of playing. Trey holds it, you know, like as we all held a Nintendo controller as a kid with his two index Great fingers standard. on top. 
but Harry's got this method where he kind of like jabs it in between his um, middle it, finger and his index mm-hmm. finger. Um, and talking to him about it at the uh, oh, West Trey, Coast qualifier. Whew, Trey almost in trouble there. Manages to get a long bar in time to help clean it up. Ooh. But uh, Harry will work on that grip until it's perfect, taking it off, putting it back on, and then once he's got it, he locks it in there. Harry uncovering as well with that square, and, and boom, touches for like Harry. Like clockwork. Boom touches for Trey. So Harry was our, our SoCal qualifying winner Correct. at the Retro City Festival. Which is happening again this January. Come on by. It's actually a lot of fun and you might see these guys face off yet again. Thanks, Arda. He just gave us a nice shout out. Yeah, heard my name from across the room. So Trey up by 3,000 points. Harry. Trey's Tetris ready. Trying to get his wall back to the right side. Boom Tetris for Trey. Up by 28,000 points now as Harry tries to get through this drought. He does. Boom Tetris for Harry. Very close game. And maybe, maybe this is the time to point out Harry is not pressing down. Oh, yes. You see that they are at pretty much the same point in lines. Well, this is a rematch of the um, the, the uh, South Coast Qualifier, or whatever we call it, at Retro City Fest. Um, these were the finalists there to win the uh, the trip to Portland. So I feel like they, they knew it was going to be tough coming right at it. And, you know, Trey's ready to bring his game. If I remember correctly, I think Harry swept Trey in that final. I think so. So Harry definitely has the wins over Trey in their his, in their past matchups. Mm-hmm. Trey, with a little tuck, has two more set up with the pieces that he's getting right now. He's working through Handles it. Handles it fine, Harry with the drought, but gets the long bar, gets the Tetris, only down 380 points. This is a close match. It is. My God. Harry tops for the triple. Trey Tetris ready. Trey with the slight drought, not too long, gets the, gets the Tetris. Oh, Harry did not want that block right then. He will be able to clean it up very quickly, though. He's played this game a few times, a I think times. it's safe to say. A couple times. Trey with some interesting elevated clears. Harry looking real clean right now. Try with a little drought. Both players Tetris ready and ready. waiting. Yeah. Here we come for Trey. Boom, Tetris for Trey. Should follow up for Harry here soon. Harry takes that triple because he's experiencing quite a drought, gets the long bar, maintained his Tetris readiness, and was able to capitalize as soon as it came. Takes the lead by a Tetris. And another drought. It's just drought after drought. I mean, this is classic Tetris. Definitely. That's what happens. It's random piece sets, and the game really doesn't want you to succeed, it feels like. Harry gets through so clean with the Tetris, doubles now his lead, up 47,000 points. Even Trade. with all these droughts, they're still pulling a great... Um... It's true. This is a good pace. Yeah. Mm. And Harry with another Tetris, extending his lead. He's up three Tetrises, approximately, score-wise. He seems to be settling in a bit. Whereas Trey is now... Oh, he clears it up in time for the long bar. Boom, Tetris for Trey. Narrows it to about 40,000 point difference. Clean up here. Harry is not pressing down. Boom for Harry. First tournament, Harry is not pressed down. 
certainly helps with the commentary, Definitely. not having to point out the long bar difference, I mean the line burn difference between the two players. So this is an actual straight up pace comparison and yeah. you can see that Harry's up 60,000 points while Trey is still digging. In the past. Oh, and the transition is coming. Let's see if Trey can get himself set up for any kind of survival at the transition. He's got some cheese there. Oh boy, that's some alternating burn shelves, some dependencies, oh, and Trey and is drop. unable to get anything to the left now. And now the right's cut off. And Harry takes it. Game one for Harry. Game one for Harry. <laughs> I'm sweating. This is... Jeez. I think you can hear in our voices. Yeah, it's intense. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the stress is coming through. Okay. Harry, look at that Tetris rate of 52% as opposed to Trey's 39%. That's how Harry was able to pull ahead by such a margin there wow. at the end. You see that efficiency with the long bars. Definitely. Able to convert those points. His strategy with not pushing down, I, I wonder if he... He's been thinking about it because he, they, they he mentioned that he had been practicing offline, mm -hmm. but then he said that was a joke. So I don't know what to believe. <laughs> well, since they get the same pieces, you know, you're in an advantage if you don't press that. Correct. Because you hear the boom Tetrises and you know it's coming. Right. And if you can kind of gauge like how far apart you are, mm -hmm. and you can because you're gonna, if you can Tetris right after they, right. you have a, a good like, oh, I got a couple seconds after them. People so. have been talking about it's it ever since the, uh, the same piece sets became a part of the tournament, that it was actually a disadvantage to be the faster player. Right. And it is a huge shift to your game to, uh, to change something like that. If you've been pressing down for your entire Tetris career to change it up right. at this stage, that's, that's a big ask. And so the fact that Harry has done it just shows how serious he is True. and what a competitor he is. But there is an advantage to pushing down because we did have a match yesterday that was so close and if they would have just pressed down... If they down, had been pressing down, they, they that could have different. shifted the tide. That's, mm -hmm. that's true. A lot of these games, we'll see. I don't know what the smallest margin of victory is in an actual round of 32 game. Right. That would be interesting to... Right. I have no idea how to find that. We're not going to get that information. Yeah. <laughs> you guys tell us. <laughs> Again, a 380-point difference, and the simul Tetris! Harry quickly, Tetris ready once again. Bit of a drought, boom, Tetris for Harry. Trey with a dirty, center well, elevated Tetris. The lead, now Harry's, as Trey tries to dig out of the situation. Look at Harry's Tetris percentage right now, 77%. He's doing an instructional video for us here, <laughs> how to play the best Tetris. One burned line to get Tetris ready again, 77%. Some hype matches happening on that front stage. It's very distracting for players in other matches to hear that kind of hubbub. You just naturally want to know what's happening. You Definitely. want to look over and you have to tell yourself not to and it takes your mind off of the game. Definitely. Especially, you know, if if you know it's it's a match that's gonna end up, you know, you're playing that next right. people. So you're kinda thinking of that. Oh, Trey with a bit of cheese there. Harry up 80,000 points. <laughs> Tough piece sets for these players, you can tell because they are both elevated with holes that right. they're trying to dig out. When you have that Tetris locked and loaded, but it's buried. Trey dug it out. He's ready for the long bar. Oh, and there it is for Trey. Boom. For Trey. Closes the margin. Now a 60,000 point lead for Harry. Sends it back to 84,000 with that Tetris. But Trey's firing. You can see the difference, an 18% difference in their Tetris rates. So again, Harry playing very well, utilizing those long bars when he gets them. There goes Trey knocking another Tetris down. 
And he's Tetris ready. There's one for Harry. And another one for Trey. Back and forth with these yeah. Tetrises. Trey is not going out easy. He's it's less than a 40,000 point difference now by 100 points. <laughs> Just a little under. Now a little over. Harry, again, so clean. Ready for Tetris. Trey working around that tower there. Harry keeps his well open with these skims. That sloping build from left to right. Boom, Tetris for Harry. Ooh, Trey getting a few pieces in a row he didn't have a perfect plan for. So just keeps getting pushed a little bit higher on this dig. Harry now up by 120,000 points. Both these players are capable of maxing out the game. Oh, and there are a lot. Oh no. Can he work around it? He, he cannot. cannot. And that's game two oh, and the match two. to Harry. Wow. Trey put up a fight. <laughs> yeah. The RNG can suit one player more than the other just Definitely. based on their build. Have we had a level 30 in tournament play? Not in tournament play. This and could be the year. Yeah. Look at that we delightful get... square LL start. No Beautiful. Zs. Oh, that's that's a gorgeous board. And then here come the Zs. Just a rate of 20. <laughs> <laughs> first Tetris, Tetris goes to Joseph. For Joseph. His first Tetris in competition at the CTWC. And there's one for Patrick. Joseph with a little bit of skimming, so Tetris for Patrick pulls ahead by one Tetris. Good clean builds from both players. And they're both Tetris ready. Bit of a drought. Let's see how far we go. Joseph's a madman. He'll take it all the way to the top, you know, because he can get that long bar over. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Closes that gap. Patrick able to get the piece to build up the left and get that Tetris. Joseph fires right back. Patrick with a 4,000 point lead. It's early stages. Oh, Joseph overshifts just a little. Well, Patrick is playing real clean. Once again, Tetris ready, gets the long bar. Boom, Tetris for Patrick. Now with a two Tetris lead. Joseph cleaned up his board very quickly. Tetris and ready, here it comes. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick with a beautiful left to right slope. Joseph just gonna clean this situation up as soon as he can. Look at Patrick yeah. knocking down another Tetris, a 68% Tetris rate for Patrick right now. Clean builds, clean Tetrises, Patrick.com. He's a bit of an overhang, boom Tetris, tuck that L in. Oh, he misses the tuck. That kind of miss can really shake your focus for your next piece. Definitely. Joseph set up an elevated burn, he gets to it and gets a triple. Patrick still dealing with the ramifications of that missed tuck and then the missed drop. It's amazing how quickly one mistake turns into three mistakes in a game like this. The right. pieces just keep coming. There's no hold box. There's no. The center well Tetris for Joseph. Down at 58,000 points right now. And Patrick cleaned it up. He's rebuilding. It's looking great. Joseph, the nice elevated clear. Patrick sticking, sticking with that, oh, that right side, but then he missed drops. A couple missed drops from Patrick. He does have the lead. He's up 35,000 points. 34,000 points to go. Joseph now chasing down the score. He's a little elevated, but as we've discussed, probably not an issue. Not an Opens it up. Tetris ready with that Zizix well, and he hits it. He's trying to figure out what score he needs. You need 
get. 211. Go for 212. It's hard if you've not really played next to someone and you don't know how to screen look. Right. He's waiting on the right pieces. Gets that, gets that, gets that. Boom, it touches for Joseph. Huh? And Joseph takes big. game one. Game one to Joseph. Wow. Patrick really giving him a run for his money there. Yeah. Took the lead early and managed to hang on to it for a lot of the beginning of that game. Yeah, look at his Tetris rate, 50%. Patrick, you know, if he can go the long game. If it weren't for those miss drops. Right. Yeah, like that one you said, that, that was it. That was the beginning of the end for sure. Gentleman's handshake for game two. And we're off again with the uh, the block at the beginning. You see different build strategies here at the beginning, yeah. but they'll end up at the same place. Patrick able to convert that first long bar while Joseph was still getting Tetris ready. Really building out his left. Now he's ready yeah. and waiting. There it is. Boom. Pretty much simul Tetris. Yeah, that was nice. Let's call that a simul. Simul. <laughs> Ooh, Patrick did not want that series of bluesies there. When you have a jagged stack and you get the wrong Z, it just compounds the situation. Definitely. Joseph really, really employing the stand-up delayed burn to a... Uh, put that L over there. It's an interesting, but it works out. And boom, Tetris for Joseph. Patrick just doing a little cleanup. Joseph with about a one Tetris lead. But here comes Patrick cleaning it up. Tetris ready. Both players just waiting. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Joseph with an excellent Tetris And another. Lead. 64% Tetris rate for Joseph versus Patrick at 42. So a bit of a, an efficiency shift from last game to this game. Patrick's Tetris ready and here it comes. Papau Tetris for Patrick. Papau. Papau. <laughs> oh, that blue L. What happened over there for Patrick? Joseph such is ready. Still a pretty close game, only a 13,000 point difference between these two players. There it is. Patrick opting to build the Tetris one off the ground, technically a dirty Tetris. Keeps getting those Z's when he is not yeah. prepared for them. That happens to every player. Joseph able to get pieces up to that, that high left that a regular DAS player cannot. Dirty Tetris for Patrick. Yeah, a dirty Zizix. <laughs> well, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Joseph now up by almost 40,000 points. Nice tuck from Patrick. Adjustment from Joseph to accommodate that L was nice. Oh, Patrick, now touch ready. Boom, Tetris for Joseph, up 55,000 points. Patrick's coming back on the one. And there's Patrick, closes it to 33,000. Has to use that long bar, but gets another one. Boom, Tetris for Patrick, closes it to 34,000 points again. Gets the right L, he's ready for a Tetris. Joseph's still building, he's now ready. Gets the long bar. Boom, Tetris oh. for Joseph. Patrick coming back with a Tetris. Joseph just waiting. There it is. It's ready. Patrick doing a bit of a dig. Opts to keep his well on the right side. Don't go chasing center wells. Joseph doing a bit of cleanup here. 
got some peaks and valleys in his stack as a result of that misdrop. He's trying not to put weight on the holes, but he just can't help it with these pieces. Definitely. Meanwhile, Patrick with a Tetris closing the up. Oh, oh, the early shift. shift moved that piece over. He was trying to load Das for his next piece mm -hmm. and hit it while well, the current piece was still landing. It's only a 30, 29,000 point difference now. 27,000 point difference. Patrick able to catch up a little bit while Joseph is still trying to get out of this situation. Meanwhile, the transition's creeping. Transition is creeping. That's a good way to put it, because no one likes that transition. Mm -hmm. Except for maybe Harry Hong. Yeah. Joseph building one off. Boom Tetris. Back up to a 50,000 point difference. Patrick's Tetris ready. Gets that long bar. This is mesmerizing. It is. Oh. 28,000 point difference. Patrick hanging in there. There are no free rounds, guys. None. Still knocking down Tetris's. Joseph is up, Both cleans it. Well. Unable to use that long bar, though. He had to, had to use that as part of this cleanup act. Patrick closes the gap. Patrick only down. Oh, now at now thirty thousand again. There he is, nine thousand point difference. And level nineteen is looming. Joseph with a misdrop is cleaning it up. Almost to transition. You can see Patrick wants to just get there, get accustomed to the speed. Joseph transitions. Not a beautiful board but he can pull it off for sure. 5,000 point difference between these two players right now. It's almost as if Joseph needs the speed. As soon as it came on, man, he cleaned it up. Look at that. Very clean building from both players, but Joseph is up about 28,000 points now. Mm -hmm. You can see where the hyper tapping can really help him navigate these speeds. Patrick hanging in there, now a 56,000 point difference as they hit level 21. Bit of a drought here, let's see how long it goes. There's a long bar. Nobody was Tetris ready. Nobody though. was ready for that. <laughs> Joseph up about 60,000 points now. That's a nice lead to have at level 22. Which is just such a pleasing color palette. Definitely. Patrick hanging in there. Yeah, he's getting it down. He's cleaning it out. Seems to work on those points. Joseph now with the largest lead of the game, 77,000 points. When you have one player just surviving and the other player just dropping Scoring. Tetrises. See how he's able to still get those pieces left, even at this speed. So difficult. Damn. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Opens it up now, 100,000 point difference. Patrick still oh. hanging in there. Look at this dig from Patrick. But Joseph switched on now, hyper tapping yeah. applying. Getting these pieces so left so quickly. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Now 133,000 point lead. Tetris for Joseph, now with a 170,000 point lead. Wow. Patrick able to get those pieces to the left. Joseph's Meanwhile, Joseph, ready to take so it to clean. 30, 30 and beyond here. Oh, and that, that is tough for Patrick. With the 200,000 point difference, Joseph really pulling ahead after wow. the transition. Game two and match to Joseph. Great game, Joseph. Great play. Thank you, Pat. Winner, Joseph.